Okay, guys, it's uh, it's seven o'clock. Uh, everyone can turn on their new technology in front of them. I'm gonna need for you guys to quiet down. I know you're excited. We're all excited, but the meeting has officially started. Okay, uh, so uh, today is August 8, 2019, seven o'clock. We're here for our regular meeting. I'll turn it over to Commissioner Headland to lead us in the invocation. Sure. First, I'd like us to have a moment of silence for those in El Paso and in Dayton, Ohio, uh, that have gone through the senseless killings. Lord, we thank you for today, and, and Lord, we just ask that you help put an end with people in Congress, whatever it takes to, to stop this stupidity, um, whatever it takes. We, we put that in your hands, Lord, and we pray for all those that have been involved in this. Our hearts go out to each and every one of them. Um, Lord, I also want to uh, thank you for our new police officers that are going to be sworn in tonight. Lord, I ask that you put a hedge of protection around them and protect them. Sorry. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, so as everyone can see, uh, this is probably the most highly attended board meeting we've ever had. Uh, so we're going to try to get through this as, as quickly and as easily as possible. Uh, what's next on the agenda is the actual approval of the agenda. And uh, I will entertain a motion to approve the agenda. Motion to approve. Second. First and a second. Any discussion before we move to vote? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And any opposed? All right, motion carries. Uh, next up is a swearing in of new police officers, Ms. Hurd and the new police officers. Solemnly swear that I will be alert and vigilant to enforce the criminal laws of this state, that I will not be influenced in any manner on account of personal bias or prejudice, that I will support and maintain the Constitution and laws of the United States and the Constitution and laws. North Carolina, North Carolina, not inconsistent therewith, not inconsistent therewith. and that I will faithfully, and, faithfully and, impartially and impartially discharge and execute, discharge and execute the, duties of my office, the duties of my office as a law enforcement officer, as a law law enforcement officer, officer according to the best of my skills, according to the best of my skills, skills abilities, abilities and judgment, so, so help me God. All right, uh, it's not too often I get to get up and move around in a meeting, but that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm not going to answer anything, so y'all should bear with me. <laughs> I see the green light. We're good. Okay. All right. So the next thing on the agenda is uh, we've got a special presentation. Uh, we've got some pretty outstanding athletes behind me, and um, we're going to do some some pretty special things right here. Uh, Andrew, if you would join me up here at the podium, I think you got a special uh, thing that you wanted to read. All right. First off, I want to say uh, congratulations, Coach Matt Hodges and our Youngsville Green 8U All-Star team. We ended up being the 2019 SWAC Eastern State District Champions. Um, the green team was made up of some of our top performers in our Parks and Rec League this spring. And uh, they set out when this when this first began with winning the championship and, uh, and that they did. Uh, we started in the middle of June. They worked very hard practices. Uh, were coached extremely hard and, and definitely grew. 
from practices to scrimmages to, to the actual tournament. Um, things got started off on a Thursday night in Rocky Mount. We had a little bit of rain. Uh, that slowed us down a little bit, but then they came back and uh, ended up mercy ruling every team that they uh, went against. So I don't know if uh, you know all of you know, but that's very uh, challenging to do. And in the uh, championship game, ended up doing a ten nothing shutout um, of Onslow County to uh, to become the Eastern District State Champions. Um, after that, they went on to Aberdeen. Where the uh, they had a tough battle, from what I was told, and uh, and unfortunately lost, but then came back to win the next day, to uh, to continue surviving. Um, after that, they played another tough game, and that that is where their season came to an end, as third place in the state of North Carolina for SWAC. And uh, I know the town of Youngsville, myself, and everyone in this room is extremely proud of them. So if we could give them a round of applause. <laughs> Now I'll turn it back over to Fonzie Flowers for his proclamation. Did you want this back? Why do I need that? I thought you. Oh, okay. So, coaches and, and parents, hopefully, you guys are super proud of these guys. Uh, I know we were watching every move and every step. And, even from afar, I think uh, one of the updates that we got here was at our last meeting, and there was some concern because of the rain and because of the current score, and uh, these guys fall back, and, and they did it. So I was able to get out, I think, to the Sunday game and watch them mercy roll some team and just outstanding athletes, very well coached. Um, really be proud of them. Another cool thing that I get to do as being mayor is I get to give out proclamations, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. From the office of the mayor, that is me. Whereas coaches Matt Hodges, Mike Bailey, Jamie Robertson, Jim Kinsilla, and Jody Yeomans selected an all-star team of young men to compete at a high level. And whereas Colt Sanders, Luke Parrott, Charlie Hans, Jaden Kinsilla, Luke McConnell, Landon Lowry, Jacob Yeomans, Evan Bailey, Connor Robertson, Landon Hillsman, Hillsman, sorry about that, and Grayson Hodges, through hard work, dedication, and an intense focus on competing at the highest level, mess into a championship-worthy team, and whereas this team traveled to Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, and won the 2019 SWAC Eastern State District title with an undefeated record, and whereas this team, representing Youngsville, went to Aberdeen, North Carolina, finishing third place in the state. And, whereas, our community has been enriched by watching these young men achieve these impressive goals. Now, therefore I, Fonzie A. Flowers, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the town of Youngsville, do hereby proclaim Saturday, August 10th, 2019, as Youngsville Green AU All-Stars SWAC Eastern State District Champions Day in the town of Youngsville, congratulating and commending this team and coaches for the significance of their achievement on the field of play. In witness thereof, I have set my hand and caused to be effected the official seal of the town of Youngsville on this 8th day of August in the year 2019. Okay, so we've got copies of this, and we're going to give all you guys a key to the city. Is that cool with y'all? Okay. So when I if, if when I call your name, come up. We're going to hand you the proclamation. We're going to hand you a key to the city. And if you guys will kind of, yeah, if we can just kind of form around here, we're going to get a nice picture together. We're going to call your coaches up. We've got something special for them too. And uh, then we've got another extra thing to do afterwards. So, all right, we'll start with uh, Colt Sanders. Oh, right here, bud. All right. Where's my point guard, Luke Parrott, at? <laughs> Another former player of mine, Charlie Hans. Okay. 
Right here, brother. And Jaden can see him. Luke McConnell. Landon Lowry. Jacob Yeomans. Evan Bailey. Another one of my former players, Connor Robertson. And the, the other two, yeah. Okay, and the other two on the team, we, we I did read it throughout the proclamation, but uh, Landon Kielsman and uh, Grayson Hodges. So, um, Okay, so Mike and Jamie, Jim and Joe. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Sorry, I, I thought I thought we had all this kind of uh, labeled out, but things things kind of change. Um, so, assistant coach is uh, Mike Bailey. Jamie Robertson. Jim can see him. And Jody Yeomans. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, uh, and uh, head coach Matt Hodges, if you can come up. Yours. And then you've got a little special extra here. Uh, the town of Youngsville presents this key to the 2019 SWAC Eastern District State Champions. Coach, there you go. It's going to be difficult, but if we can get the coaches and the kids kind of stationed around here to get some pictures, or is it going to be easier going that way? Going this way? <laughs> hey, you get, I get some in my house. Man. Anytime. I live in jail. I live in jail. I live in a place where you want to stand up. If you didn't notice, the mayor took uh, took credit for all the players. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Former player.
now, now's the time to take as many pitches as you want to. Um, you said this is going on field three. So this will be posted on field three and on one of the uh, defense lines. So it'll be basically memorialized forever. So all of those, all those faces that you see now, people will be able to see 15, 20, 30 years from now. So again, congratulations, guys. It's all right. We rip each other all the time. Wow. <laughs> now you can hear a pin drop, right? We went from we went from having the largest or the most highly attended audience to uh, yeah three people. So anyway. Um, now on the agenda is the time for citizens' comments, so I will turn the floor over to any citizen who has a comment. All right, now we'll move along into the financial report. Ms. Patterson. Hey, y'all. Uh, I feel really loud. Um, <laughs> <laughs> everything's going good. We close on the loan for the new vehicles tomorrow. It all seems to have gone smoothly. And the audit is next week. So, lots going on. I have lots of work to do. Do you have any questions for me? Any questions for Ms. Patterson? Then I can turn this mic back off. All right. Thank you for that. Uh, next up is the consent agenda. The action requested yes. here is to approve consent agenda as submitted. Do I hear a motion? Motion mm -hmm. moved. Second. Sorry. First and a second. Any discussion before we move to vote? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. And any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, there's no old business, so we'll move into new business, which is uh, item A, resolution approving public sponsorship of a special event fall festival. Uh, this was in your packet. I'm assuming everyone had a chance to read over it. The action requested here is to approve the resolution. Do I hear a motion? Motion moved. Sir. All right, got a first and a second. Any discussion before we move to vote? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And any opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item B is a resolution uh, designating the planning, zoning, and subdivision administrator and codes enforcement officers. Again, uh, the resolution was in your packet prior to the meeting uh, for you guys to read over. Any uh, questions, comments, concerns? Hearing none, the action requested here is to approve the resolution. Do I hear a motion? Make a motion to approve. Second. First and a second. All right. Do I hear any discussion uh, before we move to vote? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. And any opposed? Motion carries. Wow, that was fast. Okay. Um, reports and other business. Uh, me being the mayor, I really don't have anything very uh, excited and, and happy for those youngsters. I think um, they were excited and I think. Uh, Andrew did a good job, and Phil did a good job of putting that together, getting everything ordered, and uh, 
who knew that getting a key to the city was still like a big deal. So it's awesome to see <laughs> eight-year-olds that, that really uh, understood and enjoyed that. So, um, Other than that, it's been a long week at work, and I'm going to decompress a little bit. So, uh, Mr. Cordero. All right. So um, before everyone is a copy of some logos that were uh, the product of our branding study, so I just wanted to see if everybody has some comments. Um, the first draft that was presented was the one that says first draft. And then after some comments that you all shared with me, I passed on to the branding firm. We have our second draft, and there's two versions, Alpha and Bravo. Um, so I have received some feedback, but I just wanted to kind of get everybody's thoughts. I like, I like second draft B. It's nice and clear. Base planner. Second draft B? I like B. You like B? Okay. Is B the consensus? Commissioner Red? Yeah. What do you think Commissioner Stallings would say? B. <laughs> <laughs> he follows. <laughs> no proxy votes. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I will bring a resolution before the next meeting to um, make this the new town logo, if that's okay with everyone. But um, unless there's any other comments, we can go ahead and move forward and start using this, if that's, if that's okay. And then, of course, we've got a lot of other products that came out of the branding study, um, designs for uh, street signs and for other monument signs, things of that nature, and those will be presented at the next meeting. Well, I hope to receive those by the end of next week, so there will be more on that. But the logo is something that we wanted to get going first. So is this a logo or a seal? Sorry, seal. Seal, seal. The uh, new logo has been posted on the uh, Facebook web page, if you've seen that. Had some positive feedback on that. Um, but yeah, that'll be presented at the next meeting as well. Any other questions or comments about the logo and or the branding study? I, I know I made a comment about the, uh, the transition from more of a traditional and contemporary, et cetera, et cetera. Were they able to do anything with the, the items here to kind of transition from the old to the new? As far as reordering them? Yes. Yes. So we actually do have an additional version that's forthcoming. Okay. So I can bring that before the uh, the next meeting when we present the rest of the materials. Okay. That's a good, good, good question. Any other questions or comments? Okay. Uh, the town's payment portal is now live, so uh, we can't accept credit cards. We can't accept... Uh, all forms of electronic payments. So we can do e-check, we can do credit cards, all types of credit cards for trash payments, uh, registration for um, sports activities, and basically anything that you would want to pay the town. So if anybody's expressed frustration about that, certainly uh, spread the word. Um, and the new website is going to be live with, by your next meeting. Um, we received pretty much a, a second to final version on that um, this past week. I would um, like to poll everyone uh, if they have some dates that they would be available in September. I wanted to update you, and, and Bob is going to share a little bit more information on this, but the, the, the planning board has very diligently worked for the Unified Development Ordinance, and they made a recommendation at their meeting this week to um, bring it to this board. They basically approved it in its draft form. So I would like to set a date for a work session, um, because that is a pretty lengthy document, and I think that... <laughs> that would merit its own meeting. So does anybody have any preferences for a meeting at time in September? Can we do maybe the third Thursday um, or something of that nature? I don't know if anybody's in a position to make calendars or if I can coordinate separately. That's right, Thursday, uh, September 19th. I won't be here. Okay. Is there, uh, does maybe the next week work for you? Thursday the 26th? Possibly. Okay. So I'll email a couple of dates to everyone, and if you, and if you could just respond, um, we'll set a work session for that date. But again, the purpose is just to review the Unified Development Warrants, and we'll have a special cameo appearance by Rick Flo within Focus, who's been uh, working through the uh, that document with us, and he'll have very detailed answers to any questions that you may have. What time are we going to attend this other uh, does the board have a preference for time? 
Would you prefer to do it in the evening or during the day? Evening. evening? Okay. So we'll go in the evening. That's 26, is that right? So we'll shoot for 6. Sure. That works. September Thank you. 26, is that correct? Correct. September 26 at 6 p.m. Yep. And I'll shoot that out via email. And if you don't have, um, if you don't have any conflicts or if you could just confirm afterwards, that, that works for you. And that is all I have for my report. I think it's mm -hmm. because you're looking at it from a different angle. Yep. Oh, is it not? Well, thank you for that. Okay. All right. So, um, thank you for that, Mr. Cordero. And we'll. Mine works. Maybe it is a battery. <laughs> um, Commissioner Ritt. Yes, sir. How are you today? I'm doing great. All right. Uh, Commissioner Wiggins. Not good. Okay. Commissioner Johnson. No, sir. And Commissioner Hebb. Just, just, just a couple quick things. We did road clean last week, last Friday. LDS Church volunteers. Thank you. Um, a lady also that works with um, Just Serve, which she has a database of like 400 volunteers. So if we need, I've got some information, maybe that would be helpful to other groups, et cetera, et cetera. What's the name of that? Pardon me? What's the name of Just Serve. Cool. It's, it's connected to the LDS Church, but it branches out, not just the faith thing. So, um, and then September 28th, Fall Festival. That's it. 9 oh. a.m., 9 to 3. 9 to 3, right? Yep. Did fly you have a flyer? Excuse me. Do you have <laughs> <laughs> do you Please talk it to the mic. Do you have a flyer that you can send me so I can put it on Facebook? Or just details would be fine. I'll, I'll have, uh, Sometimes it's hard to upload PDFs. I'll PDF. actually send you some fishy really headlining it. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Clark with Planning and Zoning. Well, good evening. And uh, I've got, uh, as a follow back up on the uh, um, uh, with that resolution of recognizing uh, Aaron Klinger, our new town planner. Uh, she started Monday. I think the board's aware of that, public. Um, jumping right in, and uh, I think we've, uh, um, uh, she's uh, very eager and a uh, great, great person to be around. We've got uh, uh, this week, uh, and the timing was perfect because she was able to sit in on the planning board meeting at the wrap up of the uh, Unified Development Ordinance. Uh, one of our planning board members is here, Scott Anderson. Um, and the planning board, again, you know, kind of wrapping up their, their role at this point, but uh, it's, it's a good process. We look forward to the upcoming workshop, and uh, uh, Rick Flo will be um, coming back in in between now and then on some other things. Uh, we've got some different development type things that are going on, and he's uh, going to be able to possibly meet with uh, some folks about some opportunities for development in the community and how this kind of fits in with some of the concepts in this plan and stormwater and other things. Um, but, um, um, and uh, Danny, you've been good in code enforcement. You got Aaron out and drove around some. And, uh, and uh, we've had, we were out in the field today uh, looking at the development possibilities. So uh, it's a good start. Uh, it's her birthday today, uh, so she's not here tonight. Uh, otherwise, she'd be here. So uh, we've got. Um, uh, we've arranged some office space if you haven't been by, and it's, it's a good working relationship there uh, in, in the office. And glad to be there. Uh, we've got uh, uh, the upcoming workshop, and again, I mentioned about Rick Floyd coming back. Uh, one of the things that we don't want to overlook, and he's particularly excited about the opportunity to do is, and he mentioned this to the planning board as well, uh, and that is, is that the, the, the downtown part of the overall master plan and some of the opportunity sites and how that kind of fits. Uh, we're going to be trying to set up some meetings with several folks that would have some properties in kind of key locations and kind of just kind of reinforce some of the ideas that came out of that. And when they make some decisions in the future of what they want to do, just keep this in mind. And so uh, we're going to try to work that in and take advantage of that opportunity. So that's all I have tonight. Good deal. Thank you for that. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns for Mr. Clark? I, I have one question in, in regards um, 
Does Sandy have an area that we could designate for her to work rather than having the documents all over the floor when you walk in? It's kind of not a good first. Nothing to do with her because she's doing what she needs to do. But first impression isn't, right. isn't positive. Does that make sense? Absolutely. I can have a discussion with her and we'll make sure that we it's get... It's not her. She has to no, have no, well, I'll have a discussion with her <laughs> well, about what... She, she probably needs some more filing systems, you know, maybe an extra file cabinet or something like that. And, and so, but I want to be a, I want to get her, I'd rather her choose the solution. So, you know, whatever, whatever equipment she needs, we'll make sure we get it for her. Thank you for mentioning it. All right. Any other questions, comments, concerns? All right. Thanks again, Mr. Clark. And I'll turn it over to our town attorney, Mr. Bartholomew. Um, I let Phil know earlier today that I was in contact with, not necessarily contact, but sent an email to the opposing counsel on Old Town Hall. The last email that I sent them on is here, so I have little doubt that this one will also probably be the same. Um, we set a drop dead date of next week as an answer date, so if we don't hear back from them, we'll be moving forward with other procedures for Old Town Hall. And uh, Ed and I discussed this via email. Basically, you know, we've, we've we've got an interested party in the Old Town Hall property. That process has lingered, and uh, there are other avenues for, that we can utilize to dispose of that government property. And so, at this point, I think it makes more sense to advertise a public auction for that property in advance of the auction. We can certainly uh, disseminate the results from the appraisal to give people an idea of what that property is worth, um, and depending on what the opposing counsel says or does not say, um, we can. I, I intend on bringing a resolution potentially to the next meeting whereby you would approve an auction. Um, the auction would happen. We'd pay a professional auctioneer. We'd do advertisements. After that, you still have to approve the winning bid. So it doesn't mean that, you know, let's say the property goes for well below its current market value. You still have to approve the sale. So there's really nothing in it to lose for the town. It just provides another option for us to dispose of this property. And you never know, we may get offers in excess of, of what we've currently got on the table. So that's how we want to proceed. I would concur with what Phil just ran down there. I think we're at the point where it's been nearly a year and a half that we've been sitting on this property. We're trying to negotiate with opposing counsel and with the interested party. And at this point, if we're not getting any feedback from them on what they need to do, then I think it's time to move on and push that property to some way of getting a disposition uh, where it's not just sitting on the books and as a liability. But that's not changing our, our line of thinking that whoever gets said winning bid would still have to do something within a specific time frame, right? We're not just going to bid it out and let someone store a bunch of junk in it. They've got to actually do something with that. Okay. All right. As long as we're not backing away from that, then. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of the conditions that the board has asked for as part of the sale of the property are going anywhere. Um, so I think we're still going to be within the confines of that as much as we can be within public sale. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns for Mr. Bartholomew? I do have, have there, I'm, and I'm sure there have, have there been phone calls made? I've made phone, phone calls, calls. I've sent emails. I've sent I'm a letter. Sorry. I've got nothing in return okay. for almost six months at this point. So uh, I'm to a point where I don't know what else I can do to try to reach out to opposing counsel in a manner that can be consistent with the ways that we've communicated in the past. Okay. So. We've communicated by phone calls in the past, we've communicated by emails in the past, and none of those avenues have been worked on. And the difficult part is that he can't circumvent the attorney-client relationship either. It's, you know, he has to go through, the, they've decided to have you know, a legal representative, and so we have to go through that person as a conduit. Right. If he's not responding, then that may be something that his client needs to take up with him at some point in the future, um, which is something that was mentioned as part of the email. Okay. Thank you. I don't have anything else I want to add on. Yep. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, Chief Kimball. How you doing? Doing good. Um, for the month, we've had thir we answered 32 calls. For the year to date, we're at 412 of answering calls. In the past month, as you see, we've hired three new officers. We have one more 
that's we're waiting to get back from the state, which should be sometimes before the end of the month, and that will put us full for the time being until the end of the year. Um, we're also, as I pretty much I think everybody knows, um, Aaron Womack, our front desk specialist, um, she's gotten up with the Red Cross, and we're going to do a blood drive. The date's going to be November 9th. It's going to be from 10 to 2.30. November 9th is a Saturday, is that right? Yes. Makes a Saturday. Uh, at Faith Baptist Church. Um, if you willing to sign up, you can go on the Youngsville Facebook page and sign up. If you have any questions, you can contact uh, Aaron Womack at the office, and she can give you all the information that because she, she, she's heading up the whole program. And that's pretty much it. All right. Thank you for that. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns uh, for Chief? So I have one comment that uh, I'd like to commend Chief Kimball and the police department for their efforts to recruit um, what I would consider to be some of the most talented police officers uh, to join our team. Um, it's not an easy thing to do, and I think the quality of police officer that we have now is excellent. And we have struggled for, for years with uh, vacancies and I want to underscore the fact that he just communicated that they are fully staffed they have no vacancies so I, I think that's excellent and I just want to commend you for your efforts um, because that's not something that's insignificant for sure yeah thank you thank you very well done all right uh, assistant chief Graney could not be here tonight because uh, he's helping his dad move but he did send me a text and said that uh, the only thing that he really wanted to um, relay to us and the citizens of the town is that we are entering the height of hurricane season. Now's the time for everyone to prepare their homes and emergency supplies. People can visit readync.org for more information. Hopefully, uh, hurricane season will be kind to us, seeing as how a regular storm a couple of months ago did tremendous uh, water damage. So. Uh, having said that, I'll turn it over to Parks and Rec, Mr. Smith. Thank you. Um, as most of you know, our SWAC tournament was this past month. That went great. Um, I want to say thank you to all the volunteers that came out. Um, thanks to Ed for singing the national anthem. It was great. And, uh, and everyone that helped. We estimate that we had over 400 people come out during that weekend. Fonzie wants credit for his first pitch. <laughs> it was high and outside, but we're proud he made it over the plate. That kid made me look good. Man. There you go. Um, this past Tuesday, I was in Peak Wave Arena for the SWAC Summer Conference. Uh, we were committed for how it went, and we're told that we could host in the future at any age group, and our facilities were nice and up to par. So that's also a, a great progress there. Um, we had our first art class, which was, which was a success. We had over 20 letters that were went out and were mailed to soldiers all around. So... Uh, you know, they got to take home three, but uh, a couple people chose to send a couple more, but that, that was great. Our next art class is in two weeks. It's our hippie theme month, so they will be doing tie-dye shirts and rainbow keychains, so that'll be fun. Um, fall baseball registration is open. We have evaluations this Saturday. Um, we're looking forward to another season of that and enhancing our game day experience um, with that. Fall kickball is open. Um, we just finished up our season of the summer with new kicks on the block taking home the trophy. Um, they had a heck of a season, but Flower Power is ready to get back in it and take the championship. Um, we're having our first ever equipment drive. That will take place Saturday, August 24th from 9 a.m. to noon. If you have any sports equipment you're willing to donate, um, if you would deliver it to Town Hall or personally give it to myself, that would be fantastic. Any old equipment, uh, we're going to be setting up tables and uh, it'll just be no questions asked. People can walk up. It's all free. They can donate uh, cleats, bats, helmets, uh, soccer balls, whatever you're willing to get out of your garage would be much appreciated. Um, and finally, this past month, we renewed as NCRPA, so we're still state certified. And we also gained our NRPA certification as a Parks and Rec Department. So now we are nationally accredited as well. So that's very exciting. I'll be going to Baltimore here in September. Uh, with that so really excited about that and both of those things for our department and uh, thanks for all your support and that is it for me um, I have a question please. do you make events on Facebook for like the hippie tie-dyeing stuff or do you have an event page 
so I could share it with the town or it's just the posts on on their own I can okay. I mean I can do it no, I can go find it would you like me to make event pages for you or would you prefer I just um, share the post uh, I, I can do both um, I'll make a page but if you want to share the post that would be great as well fantastic I'm on it and if you, he actually doesn't have a calendar as well, an Outlook calendar that anybody can see and see all the Parks and Rec events. If you could send those links to her, that'd be great. Okay, will do. All right. Any other questions for Mr. I, Smith? I do have one question. What's the status of the backboards in the rooms at Luddy Park on the basketball court? So uh, when they were going up, the company that we were using unfortunately dropped them and forklifted them. So we have reached out to the company demanding that they obviously be fixed, replaced, or um, we will withhold their final payment and the amount that it takes for the new backboards and rims. Um, the last we heard from them is they were going to come out to investigate it and see it in their own eyes. Um, and we told them to let us know whatever day that was so Bill and myself can both be there for that process. Either way, we'll hold them accountable for the damage, and it'll get fixed. It, well, the one rim, that was bent before, though. It's the same old rim as bent. Right. And they put it back to the extent that this is now. Well, it's this worse. Like, it's even worse. Yeah. a carnival hoop now where the front is smashed in. It's like, an oval yeah. like an egg. I know the one, the one is really destroying. Correct. And, you know, we can compromise with them. You know, we don't expect to have, you know. Just curious. We'll, yeah, we're, we're having a discussion with them make it work okay, we were hopeful they would just be able to put them back up as is because we've got i'm ready to start shooting man. yeah we've got I well, we've got two rims that could have gone up there but i mean the fiberglass when it hit it just yeah shattered all, all okay. is there still a plan to put pickleball in there yes yes we have to wait on the goals is what the guy the painting company requested was everything be up besides the fence before they went and did any of their lining but they're going to stripe basketball white and then royal blue. Royal blue will be uh, pickleball. pickleball lines. Correct. I'm going to go out and buy some pickleball stuff. I don't know anything about pickleball. It's fun. Start playing it. Looks fun. All right. Any other questions, comments, concerns for uh, Mr. Smith? All right. Hearing none, I'll turn it over to Ms. Hurd, town clerk and tax collector. That was quick. Okay. Um, any updates from maintenance? Mm -hmm. Um, we are going to uh, be conducting interviews later this month for our public work supervisor position. And everything is on track as far as maintenance is concerned. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, the next thing on the agenda is closed session. Uh, we do need to go into closed session uh, from North Carolina General Statutes 143-318.11, uh, item 6, personnel. Uh, do I hear a motion to go into closed session? I got a first and a second. Any discussion before we move to vote? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right, we're going to closed session. All right, so the time is currently 8.19. We went into closed session to discuss North Carolina General Statutes 143-318.11, Article 6 Personnel. No action was taken. And the next item on the agenda is to adjourn, and this meeting is adjourned.